hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's video we will discuss network topology and later on we will discuss bosch topology we will also discuss advantages and disadvantages of bosch topology a topology is a layout of how a network communicates with different devices in general terms topology is layout in other words we can tell the geometrical arrangement of computer resources devices along with communication channel is known as network structure or network topology suppose there are five computers we can establish communication among all these nodes by arranging these nodes so that they can communicate with each other there are a number of topologies such as star bus ring mass etc the selection of a topology depends on cost flexibility and reliability topology can be viewed as physical topology and logical topology physical topology means the arrangements of all the nodes that means where i am going to place all these nodes and logical topology deals with the data flow in the network now we'll see the various topologies in detail the types of physical topology are bosch topology star topology ring topology mass tree and hybrid topology now we'll discuss bosch topology in detail in bosch topology each of the computers and network devices are connected to a single cable or backbone the computers connect to this cable using special connectors known as t connectors in this topology all data transmitted between nodes in the network is transmitted over common transmission medium the data will be received by all the nodes in the network simultaneously a signal will contain the address of the intended receiving machine travels from the source machine to all machines connected to the bus until it finds the intended recipient in bus topology the cable is terminated at both the ends using terminators to make bus topology operational there must not be any open connections including the ends that attach to the computers if a computer is removed or if the terminator is removed then it will be a open connection and data could bounce back and this bounce is called as single reflection if this happens the data flow could be hampered now we'll discuss some advantages and disadvantages of bosch topology since there is only one wire or cable required for bosch topology it is easy to install and minimum cables are required for that it will be less expensive node failures will not affect the data transfer if we want to construct a temporary network then bus topology is a better option now we'll discuss some disadvantages 
if the transmission medium or the main cable fails then the whole network goes down if the source node wants to send the data to the destination node the data will be transferred to each and every node so there is no security in this approach it is difficult to reconnect and also difficult to find the problem difficult to add new devices because the main cable length is restricted there is no redundancy or repetition if the main cable breaks that portion will be inactivated that is why this network is not a fault tolerant network hope this video is beneficial to you thanks for watching